right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Goodness, a pinch yourself moment. Did you ever think you would hear this song and Fedor Emelianenko making the walk to the octagon? It finally happens tonight. I mean, everything about this man is iconic. From the song, the walk, the facial expressions, is so stoic. You know that Fedor Emelianenko is all business when he stepped inside the octagon. His list of opponents, the guys that he has beaten over the course of his career, is unmatched by many. That is why still today, Fedor is considered one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And perhaps most special is to hear guys like you, right, his contemporaries, talk about Fedor Emelianenko's greatness, chasing further accolades here in the Octagon tonight. himself in another big spot here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Oh! Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go, round one. And how will Fedor Emelianenko choose to proceed? I know DC, you think he's going to wrestle, he's going to grapple. Figures to have a decided submission advantage tonight if he can get that part of his game going. But Fedor's got power, man. He talked about wanting a knockout this week. And sometimes when fighters talk about pursuing style points, they end up being the ones twitching on the canvas. I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that Fedor Emelianenko's hands will be heard from tonight. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Straight right, he misses. Early connection with the left from the champ. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Shore. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice good overhead, right? Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. And again, back to that punch. 
Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Body shot there. Oh, nice. Those punches. Just over three minutes to go. Single collar tie now. Beautiful jab there by the champ. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offer in there. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Head kick land. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, nice kick. Just over two minutes, round one. Hook lands. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here. In this he sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. I need you to get that takedown now. Fighter lands a jab. Oh, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. All right, so back to the hook shot there as predicted, but unable to connect. Oh, is he pulling guard? No! Right into a flying armbar attempt! Right into a flying armbar. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Let me see that hook now. Oh, strong punch there by Choi. 20 seconds left. Nice leg kick. Final seconds here. Powers now left hook to the headland. Misses a rant. One out for the end of round one. Great job, that man. He won clearly. Take a deep breath and relax. Look at him over there. He's like a piece of meat. He's beat up. Let's go out there and look for the finish. I want you to change. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down to the strike and he really damage his opponent. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure it doesn't land. 
Fedor Emelianenko gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, nice punch there by Fader. All right, so there it is again. Much like he did in the previous round, able to land that hook really at will. Over and over and over and over, he is landing that very same punch, whether it's to the body or to the head. He just does a fantastic job of finding the hook. Nice counter left hook. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Block that one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice leg kick. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely he's gotten it done with his striking team. Got it done with his striking team. well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. <clears throat> oh, nice jab there by Choi. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. That is a damaging kick that lands. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Different round and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Emelianenko's forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Under a minute to go. Oh, misses with the jet. Right now they separate. That's good defense to get that guard up. Looked like that body kick got home. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Big power shot there. And he lands yet another hook there. Flush. Nice job by Choi. Right hook to the head block. Seconds winding down in round two. Sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Round three of a possible five. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, missed on that one. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Yeah! Nice punch by Emilianenko. <laughs> these boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Emilianenko's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Nice shot there by the champ. Three minutes to go in round three. Nice body shot there. Just missed with the left there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Choi's doing a nice job there, raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. Pretty good jab there by Fedor. Fedor's eye now closing up. inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of home. Choi's now switching his stance. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, great block there. Man, he ate another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? You know, it, it has to, right? Because you got to be able to see to fight. And right now, he's been targeted in that area, and you can see it worsening. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. That man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Choi's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Oh, headshot, bang, as the high kick lands. Well, he misses with the left punch there. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. And there's...
was a takedown attempt. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Yeah. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. What a great sequence by him mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged, swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. It's a nice jab by him there. Well, he's not leaking information. He is leaking blood and a lot of it as his opponent continues to realize success. I mean, he's finding so much success striking in that area of the face. His eye is so damaged. The blood is poured everywhere. This has become very, very dangerous for him. Throws the teeth now in advance. Oh, nice jab to the head by a million ankle. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they've both shown heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. The cut men on both sides have done an outstanding job keeping these guys in this fight. Oh, back and forth we go. Under three minutes to go in round four. Nice jab by Fatal. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. All right, so it has been punches and strikes in bunches tonight. His opponent is wearing it. And when you see swelling like that, maybe a facial fracture or something. Well, it seems as though something's hurt bad here. The last time I saw somebody get this one, I remember watching Ioana and Jacek's head. Looking at the just size blow up, you know that damage is getting done, and every time he hits him on these spots, it hurts worse than anything you could imagine. Two minutes to go in the round. It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shots on that eye. I wonder if the referee's thinking about calling in the doctor now. Well, well, John, the entirety of the fight, that has been the target of his opponent. He has not adjusted defensively, and now he's paying for it. Now, somebody's going to have to save him. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I... At this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the match. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. 
Choi is an absolute mess right now. This fight might actually get stopped by the ringside physician due to that cut. Emelianenko's uppercut is blocked. Devastated body kick land. is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside physician be called on here. He might even stop the fight, we'll see. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye, is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's gotta change something. You ready? Ready. Go Fifth and final round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh! These guys are leaking all over each other. Here. Oh, gotta be careful there, yep. What a fight! So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. <laughs> And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of round number five. You're playing the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Avon! All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of hype, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.